On this episode, we talk internal doors. All right guys, so we are continuing on with our series of doors. Now in the first uh, video we did, we talked about some types of doors. Last video we talked about front doors and all the finishes. So if you wanna know about finishes for your front doors, head over and check out last week's episode of Simone TV. Today what we're gonna do is talk about internal doors. We're gonna talk about some finishes. We're gonna talk about positions where you can actually potentially put some of these types of doors. All right, so I like, say so again with the front doors, you have your plain white finished painted door is your general sort of standard sort of door. Now, another type of door too, you can also have your lines and your moldings. You may not necessarily have any sort of glass features on any of your internal doors. Now, you may choose to have some cavity sliding doors on around your internal doors. The places I would suggest them is in the bathrooms and in your en suites and your wardrobes, potential pantries like that, spaces where you do want to have save space. Now what you can do, as you can probably see from this photo here, you can actually get a door with either translucent or some rice paper glass. This is very good for like, um, if you have open uh, bathroom areas and you want to put a door on it. It kind of gives it that feel that it's still open, but it's still closed. It's going to block out, it's going to give the person inside there some privacy, but it's going to still create uh, the open sort of feel. Now I have seen some places that you may want to have a full piece of glass, um, actually full uh, clear glass. You know, so just some sort of different positions and things where you can actually use these types of internal uh, Sorry, glass and uh, rice paper finishes on your doors. Now, other, um, other good things about internal doors is just the simple line features. Now, I wouldn't recommend going too over the top with um, too extravagant uh, finishes on your internal doors. So definitely just keep it simple is always the best way to go. All right, guys, so if you wanted to know a little bit more about the, the front doors, head back over and check that episode. Last episode we're going to be doing about this is going to be talking about hinges. So stay tuned for the episode on hinges. And if you want to know anything more about internal doors and where you think you should put them, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.